Okay, so today we're going to be going over a project called Pontum. I have briefly touched on this already, but I'm going to show you a comprehensive guide on how to farm this. They have a confirmed airdrop. They've raised 10 million so far, and I feel this is one of the more underfarmed projects. Also, along the way of farming this, we're going to be interacting with Aptos and layer zero so it's a three in one is what we always like we always want to be utilizing every transaction so let's get right into this all right so firstly you're going to need to download the pontum wallet if you have not already done so download the wallet and then you're going to need to send a little bit of the apt token the aptos token to your wallet so you've got some gas fees so from the exchange you're using send a few dollars over you don't need much a few dollars five dollars and then you'll have gas to be able to perform these transactions okay so you could skip this step this is going to be an interaction with layer zero but you don't need to do this you could just send your um funds in aptos or in a stable coin straight to your pontum wallet from the exchange you're using or you could do it this way which is the way i do it what i would do is i would send usdt to my polygon address and then from there i would bridge it over to aptos to the pontum wallet using the aptos bridge so this uses layer zero so um yeah at any chance i have i want to be using layer zero once you've done that you're going to come over to liquid swap which is a pontum platform and if you go to dashboard, it lays out basically what they're looking for in the metrics for this airdrop. So I'm not 100% sure if you're going to need all of these or how many of these you're going to need to qualify for this airdrop. We're going to just cover as many of them as we possibly can. Like your total volume in transactions, the amount of swaps, liquid, liquidity added. And then they've got meme holder here. So holding these memes, um, there's four of them here and then NFT holders. So doing all of these here and the meme holder is easy to do. You could just buy a couple of dollars for each of these if you wanted to, just so that you get this badge. The NFT holders more tricky as the prices, as the prices of all of these are quite high. Um, I will still show you the platform where you can buy these and that platform also has an ongoing airdrop. But much harder to obtain these you'd have to spend a little bit of money to get one of these i'm not sure if you're going to need one of these to qualify for the airdrop i wouldn't think so as they've got many metrics here so these will probably be probably be like multipliers on your airdrop but firstly what we're going to do is we're going to get these meme tokens here so if you go to the swap just simply buy those memes here they have two of them here at the top already the um up toss and the shrimp and then the other two was these two here the do do one and the um returned so buy some of those so that you've got the meme holder badges and then do some transactions to get volume so if you can if you can obviously get a big amount on here 500 dollars or a thousand dollars it would be better if you've got a smaller amount still do this to try build up your volume but you would just transact from the app token to stable coins and then swap it back and then what we're going to do is we're going to add some liquidity. So to do that, what you would do is you would go to pools. You can use the meme coins that you have just bought. So for instance, the doo doo one here, you would come down to it and you're going to need to add liquidity with the with the actor token. So you would um, just put in your amount here and then add that liquidity. Obviously there's APR on that as well. And then what you can do is you can also stake that to get further APR. So you would then come to the farms and you would go to the one that you have added liquidity to and you can stake those LP tokens. Okay, and then for those NFTs, you would come to the biggest platform on Aptos for, NFT, for NFTs, Topaz. As I said, they have an airdrop on going as well. If you go to season one, this is the the criteria to get in on to get points for this airdrop so you need to be buying and selling nfts from the top five collections based on volume over a 24-hour period and to know what those are you would go to explore and here are the top five here and there tends to always be a collection which is really low in aptos uh, price so you've got number five here which is 0 0.06 that'd be a couple dollars so you could buy that top five you'd get some points for the Topaz platform for this airdrop. And then you can see here Doodoo's OG NFT, which was one of those um, Pontum badges, which has a floor price of 22 Aptos, which would be um, around $180, I think, off the top of my head. And then the other two was Space Pirates. So 
you would type it in the search there and under token v1 you'll see the collection here at the top that's much more expensive a floor price of 130 act and then the other one was dark ages again you would just search it up there here's a collection here number three and the floor price is 58 apt tokens for the quantum airdrop you have to sign up for it so top right corner click on it and you've got the airdrop tab here if you click on that it will bring you through to where you can sign up so you just have to connect your wallet as you connect your aptos wallet the quantum wallet then you can connect a phantom wallet and connect an ethereum address as well and then that will sign you up for the airdrop and then you can use the bridge they have a bridge here to bridge out and it also uses layer zero so that'll get another interaction on layer zero fees are uh, quite low I think they're around a dollar or two dollars the last time I did it, which was uh, yesterday. Um, yeah, so you could bridge out and then just repeat the process. So yeah, I would be coming back daily and will be coming back daily to do um, swaps to get the trading volume up and the amount of total swaps up. Once you've bought the memes and added liquidity, you don't need to um, do that on a regular basis. You could keep adding more in. Obviously, the more you put in, the bigger the airdrop's going to be. You could also do this with multiple wallets if you want. There's other Aptos wallets that you could use. You could use the Petra wallet. I'm doing it from the Petra wallet as well. So download a Petra wallet and just repeat the same process with that wallet. You could also obviously open up multiple wallets within one wallet. So within the Ponton wallet, open multiple accounts. I think this is worth doing it with a few wallets if you've got the time and the funds to do so. So um, that wraps this one up. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha. Turn those notifications on and I will see you in the next one.